Hey, so my name is Benef Young, um, part owner of Sterling Luxury Transportation, based out of New York City, Queens, New York. Um, born and raised in New York City, South Jamaica, Queens to be exact. Um, been in business about 25 years, family owned business. So I pretty much grew up in the, the transportation business. Family decided about maybe three years ago to retire and let the business go dormant. And I decided to pretty much take it over exclusively, um, you know, and just kind of change the concept of the business. So one day I sit down, right? And, and I decided, okay, let me give, you know, my son a couple minutes to just show me whatever it is on the internet. You know, I thought it was something wacky, but he shows me an episode of T.I. and Family Hustle where, where T.I. was just released from jail, you know, during one of his stints. And, and I guess the government didn't give him back his driver's license. So the only way he was able to move around with his family is it was this vehicle called the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. You know, it was customized and the inside was tricked out and I was kind of intrigued about it. And, um, and, and, and after my son showed me this episode, he says to me, you know, dad, you know, do you think this will work if you open back up the family business? And I thought about it, I said, yeah, but we'll have to do some investigating and, you know, see what the vehicles cost and where they're built, you know, and as soon as I get time, I'll take a look into it. You know, so I go back off and, you know, you know, I guess my son didn't believe I was going to take some time to look into it. So, you know, two days later when I come home, he has all the information printed up, the price of the vehicles, where they're built, you know, a list of the builders. And, um, and, and he also found a transportation show where they were going to feature the vehicles at, which was being held in Atlantic City, about two and a half hours from New York City. So, you know, and, and I decided to... um you know, take the time and ride down to the show and meet with some builders. And, you know, needless to say that that's how this whole thing came to fruition. But the funny part about this story is my son was only nine years old at the time. You know, this came from a nine year old, you know, so, um, you know, because of my son and, you know, he's being, he, he was, and he was nine years old. Um, his middle name is Sterling. So thus the name of the company, Sterling Luxury Transportation, because, you know, Without him planting that seed, it would never have grown into what it has and what it will be, you know, and, you know, and he does spend some time in here on the weekends and he's very computer savvy. As you can see, he's, you know, he's um, 12 and a half now. He'll come in and program the computers for us when we're, you know, stumped with something. He'll spend time, you know, um, his job is on the weekends. He has to come clean the inside of the cars after they come back from the cake fights and, the, you know, like the wild drunken nights. And that's how he earns his allowance for now. But he does own a percentage of the company. Family business pretty much managed to stay in business for so long. You know, um, you know, we have a strong, a strong grassroots uh, customer base. You know, as you know, word of mouth is big, and um, you know, we pretty much pride ourselves on customer service. You know, I probably say we probably regain, you know, retain 80% of our, you know, clientele just from word of mouth. You know, and, and customer, customer to customer. The difference between our fleet and everybody else's fleet is. Um, with a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, you have the luxury of being able to carry up to 10 to 15 passengers comfortably with plenty of luggage space. So when you talk about transporting a family from New York to, to Boston or New York to D.C., you know, um, if you were to go with a limousine or some sort of custom van, you know, you can fit the passengers, but you can't fit the luggage. Or you can fit the luggage and you can't fit the passengers, you know. Um, and in our environment, to be able to put a family or a group with their luggage, you know, uh, Wi-Fi service, you know, direct TV, you know, um, the amenities are endless and it's, and it's an experience like none other. So, um, we've dealt with um, G-Unit exclusively, for, you know, for a set amount of years, um, you know, um, Tony Ayo, Lloyd Banks, uh, Young Buck, Kid Kid, um, also 50, we've done some summer jam venues with them as well, exclusively, um, you know, likes of um, Fat Joe, a lot of R&B artists. The best luxury car brand in my eyes is Mercedes. You know, like when you talk about luxury and that's what we pride ourselves on, a luxury transportation business. Um, it pretty much stands alone for the most part. You know, you have a lot of companies, they, you know, they go with the Ford or the Cadillacs, but you know, Mercedes is, is very prestige and pretty much stands alone. One night we had a group that was being picked up in Long Island and taken into the city. So, you know, it's a very exclusive party, but just so happened, it just so happened one of the young ladies was a birthday. So they decided to bring a cake, you know, and um, not just any cake. We're talking like a sheet cake, maybe about, you know, two feet by two feet, which is pretty big for a cake. Um, they get to the club, everything's going well, and it reaches capacity. So they wind up shutting the party down, fire marshal. 
So this is before they had a chance to cut the cake. So needless to say, they came back to the car, they get transported back to Long Island, but they bring this cake back with them. And it's inside the vehicle now. Unlike, you know, going there, it was in the trunk. And, um, and it turned into a cake fight. And I would probably say in my 25 years, this is the most horrific sight that I've had to see a vehicle come back and you know, return back to the base. I mean, there was cake on the ceilings, on the glass, on the mirrors, on the floors, on the seats. You know, it was icing everywhere. And, um, and, and the worst part of it is when the driver called me and I get up on my bed at five in the morning and meet him back at the base, the guy had icing in the back of his hair. When you talk about luxury transportation, it's more like a concierge service. We look, you know, we look at, you know, um, planes, you know, um, boats, you know, whether it's charter jets, that's like a big deal now. You know, if you look at what it costs to transport a family of, of five or 10, you know, to an island, commercial versus if you were to charter it on a jet, you know, it's not really that much of a runoff. So, you know, that's where we see ourselves going within the next five years, as well as to continue to, you know, um, to grow our fleet. My keys to success are, you know, just hard work. You know, um, you have to stand behind your product. You know, you're the first guy in and the last guy out, you know, no matter what you do, you know. Um, I'm in here before the sun comes up and I'm typically here when the sun goes down, you know. You know, you have to be able to wear every hat, you know, whether you see me sitting behind a desk or physically outside washing a vehicle or, or, or gassing up a fleet. You know, you know, if, if anybody's ever experienced the gassing up 15 cars in a row, you know, if that's what I have to do for that particular day because the guy that's in charge of gassing up, you know, th that's what I'll do. You know.